What's up, Internet? Welcome to Man Alive, a show where we talk. Today, we will be talking about aliens. Really? Why well, I was giving a beat for like maybe the X-Files. I, I want you to know something, that aliens are a very important topic to me. As, as for me, the first Primarily, time I met you... It was about alien talk. You were going on and on about the pyramids being talk. constructed by aliens. They are. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty convinced that they are. Still, yeah. to this day, I'm absolutely, convinced. and I can't wait for you to tell these people on another episode. So here's the thing about aliens: I believe in them. I believe they're real. Of course. How could you not? Statistically speaking, you would be a fucking idiot to think that aliens don't exist. Like, do you? Or even, that we are alone in the universe. Yeah. Do you even know what a quasar is? You don't know what a quasar is, but there are quasars out there. And they're waiting yeah. for you. Yeah, pulsars. They Those to, exist. They want to. They want to reach out and talk to you. So, aliens. Mm -hmm. You believe in them. I believe in them. That should make this interesting. Yeah. How much do they know about us? Everything. You think they know everything? At least one type of alien does. Like one of the aliens. Dog. Think about how many aliens there are. How many aliens have come to the Milky Way? That's peeped out our scene. The better question is how many aliens are already in the Milky Way. We are Milky Way is big. Let's bring it down a bit. How many right. aliens have visited our solar system? I would say maybe 10 to 12. Now, uh, it, uh, Baker's Dozen. Baker's Dozen? 13? Baker's Dozen aliens have uh, visited you know, alien species. You know Baker's Dozen is 13? Yeah. A Hater's Dozen is 11. Of course it is, because yeah. you get short change. You get short change. Um, so, Tell if me. you follow Star Trek, which is, I would say a pretty reasonable guesstimation of what our future is going to look like. I mean, mm. shit, look at how many things have already come to pass from the Star Trek realm. Like onesies, for example. My fucking onesies. People wear onesies. My fucking ones. cell phones. Yeah. My fucking sliding doors. Like, shit. Yeah. We've had, the, we've had all of those things since we were kids, dog. Like, Star Trek is real. 3D printer. So then let's... 3D, 3D printers print food. Do you know that? Yeah, in Star Trek, they, they, do they go too. up to a machine and they say, make me something, and they get made whatever it is that they're looking for. T. L. Grey, hot. T. L. Grey, hot. L. Grey. So, aliens have been uh, watching us piss and shit since the dawn of time. You really think that's what they've been doing with their time? The aliens, they watch us. They watch us do our things. Uh -huh. Now, when I say the aliens, let's just say one type of alien. Those weird Roswell crash aliens. Like the, the autopsy the, aliens. The gray man. The, the gray, gray man, man with the big eyes. He's like skinny. Is that kind huge of head to aliens? Gray man? Like, do you think aliens are offended by the gray man stereotype? I don't know. So these aliens, um, how much do you think they know everything? Probably. If, if, do you, what do you think about the Roswell crash? In like, if they have the technology to get here, mm -hmm. then they have the technology to watch us. Yeah, definitely. And if they're, and you think if they're coming here... here then they're going to want to take a peek under the hood, see what's going on. You think they've been here? Yeah. D uh, d yeah. There's reports from like, from like 300 BC of people talking about uh, gigantic right. metal shields floating in the sky with fire surrounding a them. Ancient, ancient aliens. Christopher Columbus reported lights moving up and down in the yep. sky on his travels. Like, think about... Uh, all but, but, but then again, this is, this is a long time ago. Like, no offense, Christopher Columbus today would right. be a fucking idiot. He's <laughs> way out of his element. <laughs> He like, doesn't know anything. He went out there and he was like, whoa! I'm going to get to India by <laughs> yeah. going this way. Yeah. Dummy. That's not the way it works. <laughs> so, um, maybe he doesn't know what the fuck he was looking at. He might have just been drunk. They, they all could have been stoned on opiates. That's it's what they Entirely possible. Well, opium's been around for a hell of a long time, so I have to imagine people have been getting really fucked up for mm. some time now. Yeah, Christopher, Christopher Columbus really fucked up. Just yeah. saying, oh my god, bro, are you seeing this, bro? It's India! Bro, what am I even looking at? If they've been watching us, what is one thing that we do as humanity that, that aliens are like, oh, they're doing it again. They are so fucking dumb, it's crazy. Look at them, they're so fucking dumb. What do you think it would be? Uh, well, I mean, you know, in the interest of honesty, I would say war is probably the thing. But in the interest of hilarity, I would say, uh... Selfies. Selfies are probably really embarrassing 
on a galactic scale. Yeah. Selfies are up there. Um, uh, dancing is probably quite foreign to them. Maybe music, you know? Maybe music is the thing that we have that they don't. If they don't have music and they heard music, they would definitely have music after that. 100%. Music is something that I think every species... If Should you are have. a species of alien out there, and if you fuckers are listening to this, if you do not have music and you don't want music, like you're fucking us, evil. Like, let us give it to you. You are fucking you, evil. It'll chill you the fuck out. Maybe they cruised by, they're like, hey, this is cool. Ice cream, music, dancing, jerking off. We gotta do these things, guys. Maybe those are things they weren't doing. And if we could bring that to the galactic community, and we could give that to other species, I imagine I would say humanity is worth it. Then, like overall, like it was a worthwhile cause. Yeah, I, I imagine aliens, those big gray aliens watching us from above. One of them watching us, you know. Yeah. And another alien coming up behind and just being like, "Hey, sure makes you want a set of ears and a cock, no?" <laughs> So you can do those things, dance and jerk off. You know what, Dan? You're right. I do wish I had ears and a cock. <laughs> that's what separates us from the other aliens out there, and that's what's holding us back. We Probably. got ears. We got dicks. Yeah, like, like they have. The show. I feel like they have transcended dicks. Aliens are aliens are above dicks. At a certain point, they're like, we don't need this anymore. We can do this all in a lab. If yeah. we are powerful enough technologically to travel the cosmos and visit other planets, investigate other planets, research their the things that they do, what what do we need cocks for? Yeah, if I could if I could step away for a second, I mean humanity at this point in time, like if if there were ethics weren't a question, we probably could be making humans at this point. If ethics were yeah, if of ethics course were we never could. a question. We could clone she genome. We could make we could make we could make test tube babies. It's been a while now. They they could do that. Mm -hmm. So, we could forego sex. The yeah. question is, <laughs> Todd, why would anybody want to do that? I <laughs> feel you, boy. You know what I'm saying? It's just dumb. This is just dumb. Y'all aliens should be fucking. Fucking up. Y'all fucking up. Y'all should be fucking. <laughs> to me, I imagine aliens, if they are those big gray dudes, yeah. the big guys, they don't want to look at themselves. So they probably don't have mirrors. They probably don't do cameras. Well, if they, they probably are, don't if take they selfies. are that gray and boring, no offense to the gray people. Um, yeah, you're not really. There's nothing much to look at. There's nothing that exciting about it. You think that alien that crashed in the Roswell crash, if that were true, it and is. That, and it that, definitely is. And that let's just, let's, just, let's okay. say it's true. And that gray alien that was found. Yeah. Imagine that just happens to me—a fucking butt ugly alien—and the rest of these handsome aliens are up there, are like, oh, why did we send Zorg? Why? He's so ugly. Of all people, he's the grossest. Now look, these humans, they're, they're drawing us as Zorg. He's gone and ruined it for all of us. They all think that we all look like Zorg. And that we finger butts. Why was he fingering so many butts? What is he doing? He had probes. Why? Why? Zorg. You think Zorg was like Zorg, a Zorg, you had one job. You had one job to go down there and make contact with humans and welcome them to our community. All we said, Zorg. Instead, all we said was go there. Grab some music, come back undetected. You fucking, you fucking probe like fifty people in their asses, yeah. which, which is fucked up in the alien planet yeah. too, bro. Yeah, we not, don't, we're not down with that. And and then you crash land there, like you're an idiot. You're we <laughs> look fucking stupid. We look like we we love butts. You were supposed to go there, get cheeseburgers and Michael Jackson, and all you left <laughs> with was your dead body and probes inside butts. Way to let us all down, Zorg. You ready for this theory I got? A curveball. Throw it. Gray alien man, whom which we will now refer to as the Gray aliens. Nice dog. Sickest. So the Gray alien. Yeah. Um. They're humans. From five thousand years in the future, time traveling back. <laughs> you fucking asshole! You fucking asshole! <laughs> Why do you have to go and say things like that that make perfect goddamn logical sense? Right? Now this episode's gonna be 48 minutes long. Shit. It's shit. Dude, that's entirely possible. Right? Like well, that. I don't know about possible, but it is plausible. Yeah, it is plausible. Bust that myth. Why Why would they come back? How, what a fuck up. Maybe... Come, back and, cr come maybe, back and crash the ship? Maybe things are really bad. 
dude, we look like that, things are really bad. But if you think about it, let, no, let's just I think about it like that. I have a question. Listen, we've foregone dicks like we said we would. We've abandoned art and we've gone gray. Like, the reason why I say we abandon things. art is because UFOs have nothing artistic about them. Yeah. Even spaceships, our spaceships do. One, the old rockets were designed to look like planes. Yeah, they were great looking. So, and they didn't even serve You're a, talking about the, the shuttle. The shuttle. Yeah. They didn't even serve a purpose. No, to, they were bad just fly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that was like taking like, a, a, like inspired artistically to an extent. Right. Because it's aesthetic. Art's everything. People wanted to fly a plane. They went for plain old saucers. Yeah. And like, uh, you a know. plate. Just like a, yeah. Nothing to it. Everything's simpler. Yeah, yeah. Unless that's the look. Like, I mean, you know. That's what's like this is simple, you know. Maybe we just go. But it's still hype now. If you consider how good we are at taking a big fat shit on our planet, it's possible we won't even be able to live on the surface one day. Now, if humans were to have to go underground and leave Mm. beneath the soil, Mm. dog, they're gonna get mad gray, and their eyes are gonna get mad black because they're gonna be looking in the dark all the time. That also, that's a lot right there. So in the future, humans are brown dwellers. Probably. We are the locust in Gears of War, basically. Essentially. That was Gearbox foreshadowing. Did you just come up with that theory right now? Right now. That's fucking Well, you brought it in with the fucking Graylians are us from the future. I'm I'm just trying to wrap my brain around it, dog. I want to get crazier here for a second. I want to get crazier. Oh, no. In the ocean. Uh Uh-huh. You ever seen the movie The Abyss? Uh, no, but I'm familiar with it. I know, so big, they go big mistake. I big, know. huge holes in the Deep ocean. Down. The ocean is actually like... like. Are you about very, to spoil a classic for me? No, I'm not. Okay, it's cool. very unexplored. Right, of course. We have like, like that. very little knowledge Dude, of... The, they keep digging up new animals that look more and more fucked up that they've never seen before. Yeah, we, so. can't, we can't get to the, the bottom of the ocean. And the deeper you go in the ocean, mm-hmm. gravity is different than it is on Earth. Pressure. People tend... People... Things tend to actually end up being, they could be very huge. Of course. Down there. They could be super strong. Super strong. They have a lot of pressure to overcome. A lot of pressure to overcome, exactly. So, considering that we haven't even dug to the center of the earth, mm-hmm. and we have theories of what the center of the earth could be, mm-hmm. what if in these abysses you get to a point where maybe the gravity flips yep. and water isn't dropping, right. and you're in a society inside the earth, and these Graylians uh-huh. already exist and they come from inside our earth? Shit. Sinkholes? Dog. Sinkhole? Maybe they just fucked up. They were like making a building and like something got fucked up and caused the sinkhole and everything just collapsed inside. Classic Zorg. Right? Zorg's always fucking fucking up. And then like when you think about it, what's with the the top heavy heads and the really slender bodies? I mean, maybe they're like upside down feet on the inside of the crust with the crust here and then all of us chilling on the other side. Yeah. That's why our heads are so small and we're so mid-heavy. Yeah, but I feel like that's more hamburgers. And for them, they pro- I, feel like, I feel like aliens or humans get to a point where we have telepathic powers. And then they just don't even need bodies Telekinesis. anymore. Telekinesis. They don't need dicks anymore. No. They don't need ears anymore. They just need big old brains to talk to one if another. I, if I could do be, science. If I could be I have, Sorry, I, I have, have to go. I have to get assume it. that they just do science all day. Yeah. With big old brains like that, very little physical strength. It's just science. They probably don't have much time. Now imagine living in a world where you just do science all the time. That's a magical place. You want to hear something fucked up? Please. It's the future. 5,000 years in the future. We're all Graylians. Everyone is like dying. The planet's getting fucked up. And, um, and woo is his name. He's like, Zorg, as the last Graylian, we will send you back to Earth to get X. Just bring back X, and you could save the entire species. And he's like, I will do that. And like a fucking idiot crashes. What do you think he was doing? And then we're like, oh, let's cut him and see inside his tummy. And at that point, we fuck up humanity 5,000 years in the future. 5,000 years in the future, and we don't even realize that. But it was, and it was, but maybe that was meant to be. That's just the way it was. That's the way time travel works, you know? It was like, that was that was destined to, to be like that. What do you think Zorg was doing? What do you think Sorg was doing that caused him to crash? Texting. Texting. For sure texting. He like was like, guys, you don't even know what I'm saying. They have dicks, they have ears, they have Michael Jackson, they have cheeseburgers. He's like on, he's like, he's like rumbling into up. the atmosphere. He's like, yo, listen to this. And he's like playing like a song like that's blasting off the radio or so something. So we, we caused Zorg. Zorg is getting all this bad rap, but like, it was our fault. 
He was just seduced by all of the things that we get seduced by here on this planet. Imagine Zorg was coming in to save the Earth, and like as he comes in, he picks up the radio broadcast and like hears Creed, and he's like, "No, I'm out. We deserve this ending." <laughs> <laughs> so just fucking right into the dirt. I'm out. I don't even want this. <laughs> he's just like, "Fuck us." <laughs> I'll tell you one thing: we are either brilliant, you and I. Or we are complete fucking morons. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. But it's not in between. I'll, well, I'll tell, tell you a second thing. Go. We we deserve to get probed if the aliens are listening. We've done we've done it. We've done ourselves in. We've, we've doomed ourselves. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Let us know what you think about aliens, Graylians, Zorg, and uh, spaceships, all that type of cool stuff in the comment section below. We read that. Hell yeah, we do. We even respond to that. And make sure you tune in all the time because we're always doing this. So subscribe, pal. Today's episode is a little bit is a little bit of a game. We're gonna play a game, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Today we're doing a tutorial on games. Tutorial. Today we're doing a uh, little game tutorial. Uh, we're gonna uh, do uh, Would You Rather. You, ha I believe you have some Would You Rather's locked and loaded. Yes. And you're yes, ready to I do. Uh, 